Hi there Libra, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings, so if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if the reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button as well. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future, it's still going to be a love reading, okay Libra? Can I get the past energy for Libra, please? The past energy for Libra. Libra. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. Can I get another card for Libra, please? Hmm. The past energy for Libra. Another card for Libra for the past energy. And there we go. There we go. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. And now for the present energy. The Three of Cups. Oh boy. Look at that. And the Emperor. And the King of Pentacles. What's going on here? Uh, and now for the future energy. The Hermit. With the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, let's do it like this. And another card for the future energy. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. And for the overall, it's the Page of Cups. So. This is really talking about love here. So someone carries a lot of love for you. Um, or it, it's, it could be mutual here, right? But it's also talking about something new. So there's a potential of this being a new connection. But if not, uh, this, this is talking about someone wanting to offer their cup here. Um, sorry, I'm just taken aback by the positive cards. Um, that's nice. So this, somebody wants to offer you their cup here. Uh, for the past energy, I see the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, and the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Cups in reverse. So um, this could be like the most recent past, okay? You could have been experiencing this now or could have been, you could be experiencing this in the future, right? This is just a format that I go by to make things easier. But uh, you're coming across as being very independent, okay? You could be focusing on yourself. Um, you could be focused on your independence, right? Um, this is also talking about you being in this some sort of healing energy here with the Knight of Pentacles, right? And I feel like it's being noticed by someone with the Knight of Swords. So there's someone that wants to take swift action towards you, uh, given the fact that you are really putting the effort towards self here. Um, yeah, and with the Eight of Cups in reverse, this is someone that's very focused on you here. And then when I look at the present energy, I see the Three of Cups, which is talking about victory, success. Um, it could be talking about a reconciliation, okay? Uh, but if you're dealing with someone new or a, a potential of somebody new, this is someone that's really um, standing in their power as the Emperor here, and they bring in stability, okay? So you got the Emperor and the King of Pentacles here. Um... This is, this person's like determined if I'm looking at the Knight of Swords here, but, um, you might be hesitant to open up. Okay. Cause this could be, this person could come across as being somewhat intimidating, uh, with the Queen of Cups showing up in reverse for the future energy. Um, but I, I because I feel like, um, um, you could have gone through this process of healing, right? With the Hermit. So maybe it'll take you a while to kind of open up to this person. So I don't see you being remaining like closed off completely. I, I just think it'll be like you kind of taking your time to op open up to this energy because this person is kind of intense with the Knight of Swords, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, right? 
and it could be somewhat intimidating here. But I see positivity and an acknowledgement of this connection with the Four of Cups showing up in reverse. Okay, so it's not like you're uh, uh, appearing completely closed off here. All right, this is interesting. Now I really want to clarify. Let's pl clarify this Page of Cups. I was taken aback by the reading because I wasn't expecting it. Um, usually with the Libra, it's always talking about some sort of past energy, but this is like, this seems like it's really positive, but when we clarify, then we'll really understand what's going on here. But I see the Page of Cups, I want to clarify the Page of Cups here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Page of Cups. This person's intense, Libra. <laughs> I think that's why I kind of... It's like a loss for words. Uh, let's clarify the Page of Cups. Let's do that again. Page of Cups. Okay, I'm taking that. Yeah, the Six of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this... Okay, so this person's uh, finding it... Um, so if this person's already in your life, okay, it could be someone that you know, right? Um, it's really hard for them to come forward when it comes to their feelings here, okay? But uh, they're willing to do it nonetheless, even though it's kind of stressful, okay? So this person does carry a lot of love for you with the King of Cups. This is interesting. The Six of Wands, yeah, it's hard for them to um, come forward, but I feel like they're going to do it. They're going to uh, overcome their fears of getting hurt with the Three of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Wands, okay? So it's the Six of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Three of Swords in reverse, okay? To clarify the Page of Cups. Plus, I feel like their feelings... Oh, so I see the Queen of Cups here and the King of Cups. So... Yeah, th this person's feelings are weighing heavily over their shoulders too. So that's why they're, they want to come forward here. So let's clarify this um, Nine of Pentacles energy on your side. Actually, you know what? I don't need to clarify the Nine of Pentacles energy. That's really your energy. I don't want to clarify that. So I'll clarify this Knight of Swords energy. I want to, more, I want to know more about this Knight of Swords. This person seems like they're coming in quickly. Um, yeah, the Five of Cups in reverse. This person does not want to lose out on this connection, okay? With the Five of Cups showing up in reverse. The High Priestess, well, they're listening to their intuition when it comes to you. Um, this person's thinking with clarity, okay? Can I get another card? That's too many cards, do that again. The hair font. Wow, this person um, is somewhat confused about the way you may feel towards them. And I think that's why the Queen of Cups is showing up in reverse here, okay? For the future energy. But I see them um, wanting to rush in nonetheless, even though there's confusion about how you might receive them. Um, they see this connection as being very spiritual, okay? With the hair font card and the High Priestess. This person's really listening to their intuition here. So this could be someone that you know, okay? Or you might, so hypothetically, you might meet this person, okay? And um, 
they might come across as being somewhat intense, right? Confident. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I don't think it's someone from your past, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's someone from your past. But um, take it as is, you know. Maybe for some of you it is. But... The Magician. Someone's wanting to manifest this connection like you wouldn't believe. Um, it's, it's possible that you manifested this person, but it's, it just seems like this, it seems like this intense energy, uh, going after what they want here. Yeah. Um, so it's like the fool in reverse. So I, I feel like it hasn't happened yet. Okay. So this person's manifesting you. They want to take action towards you. Swift action. Um, that's interesting. Uh, let's clarify this, um, this King of Pentacles energy for the present, okay? There. <laughs> the Ten of Cups here. Oh my God, this, this person, um, so it's like the King of Swords in reverse. This person wants this happily ever after with you. Uh, I'm not sure if they've expressed it or communicated this to you. Um, yeah, I don't feel like, then the Eight of Wands showed up in reverse. I feel like they haven't told you yet, but look at that Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, this person does, though, want to express how they feel, um, towards you. And they want this Ten of Cups with you, this happily ever after, okay? Um, so this could be even energetic. What I'm saying is, like, if, if this person... Like, this person does want to rush in, okay? They do want to offer you um, their cup here. Um, they're very intense, okay? Their feelings towards you are very intense. Um, they see this as being a very spiritual connection. This person is listening to their intuition. They see you in this Nine of Pentacles energy, someone that's very independent, focusing on themselves, you know? You're being very um, good to yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Uh, let's clarify the Emperor. Okay, so I see the Three of Cups in reverse with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And the Moon. Wow, this, this Emperor. Um, so it could be someone that... Um, let me get another card, though. Look at that. The Death and the Queen of Cups in reverse again. So I feel like with this uh, person, okay... Um, Especially with this emperor, right? When you look at this emperor and with the king of cups, this is someone that does not express their emotions often, okay? And when you look at them, um, you might not uh, expect them to have so much emotions underneath though, okay? With the moon card being here, okay? Um, so I see um, maybe that's why you could be a little bit cautious here with the queen of cups showing up in reverse because um, this person doesn't really express their emotions, right? Outright. <laughs> Especially when I'm looking at this Emperor card. Look at that. <laughs> they look kind of grumpy here, right? But I, I don't feel like that's the case, okay? This person is very intense, okay? Um, they could even... Because I see the Moon card. And the Moon card talks about emotions and stuff like that. So this person could have like... Um, you know, he tries to keep their emotions under control, but I, I don't think it's easy for them, okay? With the Two of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So you might be a little cautious here. So let's clarify this Four of Cups in reverse. Look at that, the Emperor showing up in reverse here. The Ace of Cups in reverse. And the King of 
Pentacles again. Ah, uh, you being somewhat um, cautious could actually make this person somewhat self-conscious with the Emperor card showing up in reverse. And for the Ace of Cups showing up in reverse. But it's like the King of Pentacles, right? This person wants to offer you stability. Like I said, um, this person um, is very intense, okay? Especially in the way they feel. But they don't really show it um, openly, right? So this could be the reason why with the Queen of Cups showing up in reverse twice, um, you being somewhat cautious or not really jumping at this person um, could make them self-conscious with the Emperor card showing up in reverse, okay? And the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is your King of Pentacles and the Emperor, okay? So let's clarify this Hermit card because I feel like you've gone through this process of healing. Um, I really do feel like you are in a good place. But let's clarify the, um, the Hermit card. Yeah, I don't see you being as resistant with the Seven of Wands showing up in reverse. But um, you could be slow to open up to this person for whatever reason. Yeah, but Six of Swords in reverse. I don't see you moving on or moving away from this energy. But, you know, there could be, there could be some kind of miscommunication or misunderstanding. Just to be mindful of that. Okay, especially if the way we're coming across, right? So this person not being so forthcoming, um, you know, about the way they feel uh, could cause confusion here. Okay? I feel like you're going to be confused when this person does. Um, yeah, see, I don't, I don't feel like you're... Page of... Yeah, I, I feel like you're not really... Um, you could be cautious because I don't feel like you want any sort of conflict. It could be due to the past experience or you don't want to sabotage a connection by rushing in. Um, but at the same time, I don't feel like you're resist you will resist this person here. Um, so you're going to be doing things in a very sensible manner with the Hermit card, right? Someone that's very enlightened. You might not want to rush into things. You want to just um, do things with a mindful approach here, okay? And let's clarify this Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, what is that? Yeah, judgment. This is, this is, up, it's really up to you with judgment here, okay? Um, I feel like you are going to be making a sensible decision here with judgment. I feel like this person is feeling somewhat impulsive, okay? Or they're just the kind of person that goes after what they want. You, however, could be, uh, you could be like very, I see you as being very calm here with the Hermit card, right? Not as impulsive. Yeah, the Four of Wands, look at that. This is really talking about stability, a commitment, um, something very special here with judgment and, yeah, but... <laughs> The devil here. So, um, uh, let me get another card for this devil card. Like, what is this? <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I, I really feel like this is you not... Okay, I, I think this is you not wanting to... Um, This is really positive energy, okay? So the Devil card does not necessarily mean something negative here. This is more of an acknowledgement of past mistakes, okay? Possibly you wanting... I feel like you're really in a good place. You're coming across as being very mindful, very enlightened, right? And you're aware that um, rushing into things um, could create something, um, you know, not so pleasant with the Devil card showing up here, okay? Um, like you don't want any sort of toxic, uh, you know, situation or experience again. So you kind of being mindful will help per you prevent this situation from occurring here. Uh, this person could come across as being somewhat intense, okay? Um, so I feel like you not really um, responding with the same intensity might kind of make this person kind of, um, you know... Um, back down a bit, 
but I don't see them as, you know, wanting to walk away and all that. I see you doing the right thing by being cautious and um, really looking out for yourself here as well, right? With judgment, the Four of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So I see the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, so, and the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. All right, Libra. So this is an interesting reading. It's very different from the other ones that we've uh, done in the past. So I don't see you being closed off completely to this person. I just see you not being resistant, not quite moving away, but at the same time, not wanting to sabotage the connection by being impulsive. Like you're, you're, you're being very mindful here. Okay. And I really do like your energy. So I feel like your openness towards the person will be gradual. Okay. Um, which is not a bad thing. All right. So I'll see you next time, Libra, and I hope you got better insight into this situation. Take care now.